hi just welcome back to my channel if you have never seen a video of mine hi i am jessica and i'm a mom i do tv movie grocery hauls yeah tv movies grocery hauls reactions that's a little bit of everything but not the grocery hauls because i honestly i'd be forgetting or my helpers which are my children they put it away for me and then I'm like, oh, and then I totally forgot, forget. So, um, I will try to do it. But, um, I probably might do a Trader Joe's haul, like, in a couple of weeks. Because my son is turning, <laughs> he's turning 15. And, um, we're gonna go to the city. So, yeah. And he really wants to go to Trader Joe's. My son is a vegan. So, and where we live in our town, there's no Trader Joe's. So, um, I guess I will film that of him walking around Trader Joe's. I don't know, because sometimes he'd be a little snippy. But, um, that is not what I'm here for. Oh, my God. Yes. Hello. I want to talk about Alicia from Doggerty Dozen. This woman just... I was going to do shorts, and then I realized again that... YouTube just won't let me be great and that I'm pretty sure that I have too much emotion to do. I've seen like four or five of her uh, shorts and I've seen more of them but just today, 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 today is just a whole lot of that. Um, it really kind of bothered me on so many fucking levels of how Razorface is just and if so her name is hatchet face from crybaby and that's not the sister i got her confused with ricky lake i do that all the time but yeah hatchet face mm, it looks you'll see what i'm talking about but razor face if you ever seen crybaby if you ever see crybaby with johnny depp um Matter of fact, I'm gonna do you a favor. Just Google, not Google, go to YouTube, look up Cry Baby Sister. Or you might have to watch the movie. Or I'm gonna put a picture of her either here or here, and you'll uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. But if you're older than me, like in your 40s or 50s, then you might you'll know what I'm talking about when I say uh, Cry Baby and crybaby sister um, crybaby is one of my favorite fucking movies and i'm not a big johnny depp fan it's just crybaby is my shit i love i love crybaby that's one of my favorite movies but um that's what the fuck i was saying yes that's who she reminds me of. every time i see her that's who i think of she's the second person that i thought that looks like this lady it's ridiculous but anyway that's besides the point her first one was the short that I saw this morning. Um, someone else put it up, and I didn't um, save it. I really don't know how to like save clips and put clips. I really, I'm still learning this. But she was saying, um, "Is her daughter named Bree? I think her daughter's name is Bree." And she was saying how you know she was just telling her daughter's business, and I feel like shit for even saying um, said business, but I. I feel kind of shitty but um she's told the daughter's business and she also has this thing where she always have to keep saying all her children's name and that's another thing that really pisses me off stop fucking doing that because god forbid somebody could just hey come up to your kid and you'll be fucking missing a kid god forbid that happens but this lady is just putting her kids in danger and also i was hearing or she had said that her kids do get like you know teased and she's said oh one of her kids you know what's the bed and i'm just like bitch what the f why would you do that why why would you do that to your kid but about brie and how brie a lot of men in brie's life had you know she's a young kid and i don't know the situation but I'm not going to say it on YouTube, but if you, and 
if you can read between the lines, then you will get what that bitch was trying to say. It, it, why? What was the purpose of that? Like, you use these kids as pawns, and I feel really bad for them. But what also pissed me off more than the Bree stuff, which that pissed me off too. But she has these two twins. Um, one name is Jackson, and the other one's name is Jason, I believe. My son's name is Jason, my oldest, so I kind of remember. And she, a viewer or subscriber had asked, oh, why was Jason mad? I think the other one's name is either Jackson or, I, I don't know. But one of the twins were mad. And she was like, oh, because, you know, his birth mom didn't show up to his party. And I'm just like, why would you do that? First of all, you're throwing the birth mom, you're throwing his birth parents, their birth parents under the bus. That shit is fucked up. And I don't know why she always, I understand why she's including, you know, the parents. But sometimes, why do you do this? First of all, you remind me of the people on Teen Mom. Not even the people. Um, Caitlin and Tyler. And when T Caitlin and Tyler gave up Carly. And Carly's parents was cool with it. Cool with being on TV. Cool with getting them checks. And then all of a sudden, Carly was getting older. And then they didn't want Carly to know or they didn't want everybody else to know Carly's business. So they stopped letting Carly be on camera. Which, you know, you're protecting your child. Because let's face it. Caitlyn and Tyler was telling their story. Also, sidebar. Is it just me? Or why the f does all of Caitlyn and Tyler's kids look like friggin' Tyler? Like, damn, them jeans is good. But all, all jokes aside, them kids are beautiful. Like, all of them kids are beautiful. I'm just saying they did a good job. And Tyler is a good-ass looking man, so... Them kids are going to be cute when they get older. But that's not the point. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know why I went down that Teen Mom rabbit hole. I used to love watching Teen Mom when I was younger. Hence, I was a Teen Mom. But that's a story for another day. But the fact, if you know what I'm saying, is that they stopped letting Carly be filmed. And I'm still trying to understand how Alicia is able to keep doing this and keep filming them even though they're in her care and they're foster children um there is a foster mom on here i don't even know if she's still a foster mom because i honestly really do not watch her like that anymore but years ago when i guess they were trying to have kids she adopted um their son and when she would do like because i think her theme with her youtube channel is that she was obsessed with disneyland or something like that and they would always used to go and make a big thing of it but when she got her, when they got their adopted child, she would always like put a sticker on his face or blur it out in photos and stuff. And when they, I guess because they fully didn't adopt him yet and he was still in the system, which, or, you know, they were in their care. And so I think she adopted, her and her husband adopted them, him. And then I think again, they had got another son and it was the same whole same situation. So I would like to know why the fuck is she able to still do this? And I've read a lot of places where, you know, they're saying, oh, like, you know, it's New York and, you know, because they live in New York, bitch. Okay, shut that hole. Not live that far from me. Not saying that I would go beat up Alicia. I'm not saying I would physically harm Alicia. Now I say this and I'm thinking about it, like, if I ever see her in person through Rochester and I run into her I'm gonna give her some words <laughs> because really this bitch be doing too much and she's also just an asshole in my opinion like you use these kids for pawns so you can get money and then you tell their business you tell everyone that they have IEPs and what really really hurt me as a mom um, when s uh, someone had asked, I think a subscriber had asked her, 
you know, like college funds. And she said, it makes no sense to make the college funds for them because they're not going to go to college or they're not going to succeed or they're not going to make it. And that really hurt me because I do have a child that has special needs. Granted, he, he, he pulls a special needs card when he wants to. But my son is autistic and he, he catches on great. He's very smart. Sometimes a little too damn smart for his own good because he be using some words that make you think like, yo, what? But I would never tell my kid that um, um, you're never going to college. Like, I tell my son all the time, he's going to college. The fuck? Um, if there's a will in the way, you're going to college. I don't give a fuck. I want all three of my kids to go to college. You know, you have to go. Because with an IEP or a high school diploma, it's not going to take you as far as you need to go. So I prefer my kids to go to college. I tell them that all the time. My son that is autistic, he wants to be a chef. I guess because he loves to eat. Like he loves food. He loves to eat. And he always wants to know what I'm making or what I'm cooking. And I think that's amazing. I, sometimes I let him like help in the kitchen. But other times I don't let him be by himself in the kitchen. Because I'm afraid that he's going to burn down my house. But I feel like that with all three of my kids. And my mom was like that with us for a while. And so we got older. But still, like, it's like you're not even giving them a chance to be. A chance to even experience it. A chance to do it. And also, I think it's just pure greediness. Because I honestly think that she just spends up all those kids' money. Because why do a college fund if we can just spend the money and buy dumb shit? And another thing about spending money and doing dumb shit, she had this thing, like, you know, when she hit her 1,000 subscribers, one million subscribers and it was a party and she was putting these kids in a hotel these homeless kids i really would like to know what happened to the homeless kids after they um left the hotel from the holidays and then she bought them expensive shit it was just crazy but and also she oh she labeled their names on everything it's bad enough when you do it to your own kids and teenagers that I think one is her oldest one is like 16 or 17. Why would you fucking do that? Why? Are they both 16? I don't know. But my whole thing is why the fuck would you do that? Like their names is all plastered all over the place. And then you do it to the children that are in the um the homeless shelter that was at the hotel. So basically she did this charity thing where she's saying that, you know, if you donate money she'll match it mind you she only said it one time and that was it and it's not in any of her videos she doesn't say anything about it and i think up to now only like three people have donated so i think it's like 200 or 300 dollars or something like that because she's not promoting it because she had no intention of matching anything and also, I'm still not down with the fact that she was giving out them soggy ass sandwiches in downtown Rochester. Like, you should get punched in the face for that. And then you make the sandwiches on that dirty ass table. She didn't wash it down. Nothing. And I, it, you, if you've seen her table, you gotta know what I'm saying. But, you know, she just irritates the dog fuck out of me. I think she irritates me more than Amber Lynn does. And no. Mm. The kids part, yes. The kids who the kids part, yes. She wins that round because Amber Lynn don't have no kids. So she ooh, she pisses me off in that department. But spending the money on spending money on dumb shit, her and Amber Lynn is like here. Like they yep, they're up to they're up to here. But it's just ridiculous. And now her old way. One of them got a Jeep and the other one got like a rand a rundown Honda. And then when somebody asks, like, okay, why does one kid get this Jeep and the other kid get this Honda? She's like, Oh, that's what they asked for. Ain't no 16-year-old gonna ask for a Honda. It was a Honda or a Nissan. Something like that. And 
<clears throat> even if the kid had asked for it, you can see how tall the son is. Like, um, I really don't know this kid. Is it James? I don't know her son's name. But I think it's James. I don't know. But he's tall. Like, he's tall and stocky. He's a 16-year-old. And my 11-year-old is probably like an inch taller than him. Please don't ask me why. Just my 11-year-old's taller than me. And he's like kind of stocky. So I know, like, I'm looking for a car. And I know that my son is tall. So I know he can't fit in like a little Nissan. So how is this dude like... Ain't no way. Because even when he got in the car, it looked like he was, like, you know, struggling to get into it. You could tell this boy was uncomfortable. Why not get him a car that has fucking room, you dodo bird? But I digress. And that was my little rant about Do Alicia from Doggerty Dozen. I really, 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 really can't stand her husband, Josh. I can't stand him. He's like a big ass kid who wants to have everything like the kids have. Like you ever seen one of those like, oh, those pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. That's the type of individual Josh is. And now I see that this nigga is out here doing laundry. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that because he white. But uh, I crossed it. Now he's out here doing laundry. And the, the people that is on her um community, well, her subscribers... They fucking dumb as hell. Oh my god, look at John. Look, he's doing laundry. Oh my god, that is such a great man. He's doing laundry. Bitch, wash your own drawers. Like, mm, what, what? All them kids. And now, all of a sudden, now because he wants to hold the camera, now you want to help? What the fuck? You guys just been walking around in the clouds with your magically clean underwear. Like, yeah, help fucking wash laundry, dumbass. Like, you're home. You basically do nothing but scratch your balls. Fucking help do laundry. And the fact that he did laundry, I wonder fucking why. Huh. She up to something. I just don't know what it is. And then she decided to sit and fold laundry. And not say anything. Not anything at all. I remember one time I folded, I, I did a vlog with me in the laundry mat, and I was saying some, a lot of shit. And then, on top of that, a fight had broke out in the laundry mat, and then I was like, nah, I am not posting this. So the fact that she folds these mountains and mountains and mountains of laundry, and it's so weird, awkward, and creepy, and then you're telling us, Whose underwear is which kid? And you know you got some people on here. Some people on this platform that looks through footage for that kind of stuff. Who's not quite right. And then you're showing your kids laundry. Like. I. Alicia's a dumbass. But anyway, I digress. That was my little extra rant. This bitch is getting me mad. And plus, I'm watching Teen Wolf, and I'm just, like, hype as fuck. Not the movie. I'm still watching the show before I get to the movie. Because I forgot when it first came out that, um, now I know why I didn't watch it all that much. Because that shit was making me pissed. It's still, I'm still, like, like, ooh. I'm still, sorry, parts. But, um, have a good Thursday night. Um, I might do another video again, or I'm so sorry, and I apologize in advance. I got my voice back because I've been sick. So, um, yes, and unfortunately, you may get more Teen Wolf shorts of me yelling at my TV. I apologize. Um, I was watching it with my sons. I was watching it with my older son, and he bounced. <laughs> he was like, no, mom, you're on your own. So, um. Yeah, he got sick of me real quick. It be your own kids. But I hope you have a good night. Comment, like, subscribe, I'm guessing. I don't know. I promise you I am normal. I, I promise you I am normal. I just, I rant a lot and then I bring it on 
back. I'm hyper and I have no idea why. But, oh, I think I just said that. But, have a good night. <laughs>